today we're going to be doing an experiment called Air Takes Up Space. And for this experiment we need a sink, a small toy that floats, and a glass. So we are going to move over to the sink. Alright Russell fam, we are at the sink so we have plugged it and now we are going to fill it at least halfway full of water. All right, and while this, where's the glass, Bailey? Keep filling, sister. Right here, we have a glass and a little floating toy. All right, here's the glass. While we're waiting on our sink to fill, we look at the glass and we ask ourselves this question. Is the glass empty? Does it look empty? Yes. Yeah. All right. So we're going to wait just a minute and let the sink fill halfway up. Oh, and Russell fam. Tell us if you like our little floating construction man. That's our little floating toy. Hey, you think it's going to take a minute. All right, Russell fam, our sink is halfway full. And Bailey put our little guy in there and watch him float. Whee! Move your hand, please. I can't see. There we go. Now he can float. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to turn the glass upside down and hold it over the toy. Make sure the glass is vertical, which means up and down. Do not tilt it. Push the glass straight down so it traps the toy. Continue to push the glass straight down until it touches the bottom of the sink. And then you need to notice where the toy is. Okay. All right, okay. let Bailey do it. All right, hold it at the top, Bailey, because I can't see with your hands in the way. All right, so where is the little floating guy? At the bottom. No, he's not at the bottom. Where is he? He's like floating a little bit. Oh, there he is. He is at the bottom. Y'all see him? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, he is at the bottom. It's really cool. So he's trapped at the bottom. Hold the glass for me. All right, so we notice that he is at the bottom. Now pull the glass straight up out of the water. Oh! What happened to the guy again? Air. He started floating. He's floating. Once again, notice where the little toy is. He's floating back on the water. All right, so what happened in this experiment? You should have noticed that when the glass was pushed to the bottom of the water, the cork was pushed down. Did the, did the toy sink? Yes. Yes. When the cup was on top of it. After all, you already know that the toy floated. It weighs a lot less than the water. In order for the toy to sink, then it would have to suddenly gain a lot of weight. The, the toy continued to float, but it was pushed to the bottom of the sink because the water it was floating on was also pushed to the bottom of the sink. The important question for you to consider is what pushed the water and the toy down? Y'all know the answer? Air. air! Air! That's right. The air the answer, of course, is the air that was trapped in the glass. So, was the glass really empty? No. No, what was in the glass? Water. Air. Air. Air was in there. But Becca. All right, so, what do we tell Russell fam? Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Get off video games, girl outside, and have some fun.